Welcome to this week's episode. We're doing baked chicken. Today we're going to make baked chicken with some pork rinds and we're going to have some egg batter and you're going to see a great show tonight. Stay tuned and the side dish tonight will be amazing. This is Keto Joe. I'll see you in a few. I like to crush up my pork rinds. I just kind of do it with the bottom of a glass. I've tried in a blender before. Doesn't really work. This is probably the best way to crush these pork rinds and get them ready. After you ground up your pork rinds, you want to add a little salt, okay? And you want to add a little pepper. And then mix it up good, and it'll be ready to put on the chicken. Three eggs. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a quarter cup of almond milk. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this up to make our batter. Okay, once you have the batter made, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take the chicken and you're gonna dip it into the batter nicely. Get it nice and moist with your nice egg batter. And you're gonna go ahead and put it into these crushed pork rinds. Make sure you get it nice and covered nicely. And that guy will be ready for the oven. There is your chicken all ready to go. Put them in the oven, 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. Check it after 30 minutes. Here we go. Tonight's side with that beautiful baked chicken, we're gonna go with broccoli and asparagus garlic, sesame seeds. We're gonna use the coconut oil, salt, and pepper. Stay tuned for a great side, keto friendly. Okay, now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna toast our sesame seeds. Just get them light brown and get them ready for our great side. Okay, you can see they're starting to get brown and then get them off the oven so they don't burn. Now to start cooking our, um, our side dish. And I like to use two tablespoons of butter with my coconut oil, just so I can get a little more flavor. My butter is kind of melted. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my asparagus. Mmm, that smells so good. And I'm gonna take my broccoli. Okay, now you wanna do a good job of moving this stuff around because you do not want them to burn or get too overcooked. And then you want to go ahead and you want to take your garlic and pour your garlic in there. And like I said before, we're going to go with some salt and we're going to go with some pepper to taste. Once this is done, we'll throw in our sesame seeds at the end. It should only take about seven or eight minutes on the stove. You want to get them nice and cooked so they have a good flavor and taste to them. Make sure you keep mixing it up. Once it's all cooked, you want to then go ahead and you want to strain it out and get some of that coconut oil and butter. You don't take it all into the serving area with you. Okay, once it's done then, you go ahead and you add your sesame seeds. And you go ahead and mix them in. And there you have it. Broccoli and asparagus. Side dish. Goes great with your chicken. I mean, look at that chicken. It sure looks like fried chicken to me. Keto style, you'll love it. Remember, chicken, 165 degrees. Enjoy this meal, it should be a great one. I'll see you next episode. Remember to subscribe to my page and also hit that like button. No better recipes than the recipes that are coming out of Keto Joe's Kitchen. See you next week.